Mmm. <sighs> Put this down. Coffee. Good thing. Welcome to Matt Reviews Books. I am your host, Matt. And if this is your first time, welcome! This is a book review channel about older books. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe, follow along, leave a comment about books that you think you would like to see uh, me talk about, uh, get my, my uh, take on them. This week, we are into volume two of Catherine Kurtz Chronicles of the Durini. Dereni Checkmate. That being said, let's move on to the synopsis. So, Kelson Haldane is now king of Gwynedd. He was king in the last book, too. But he survived his coronation. He fought off Charissa. He has he's king in his own right now. But he is still learning how to be a king. After all, it's only been a few months. He didn't, it wasn't like, poof! He suddenly knows everything about how to be king. The key, this guy, he's a kid. He's still learning how, he's a teenager. And he has uh, two friends that helped him uh, secure his power, his magic. Duke Alaric Morgan of Corwin and Father Duncan McLean. And they are uh, his closest advisors along with his uncle, Nigel. Uh, Prince Nigel uh, Haldane. Catherine Kurtz does uh, does something here she did in the other book, which is she splits the storyline into two arcs. The first one is like a geopolitical story about the politics of the nation of Gwynedd. So there's that aspect, and then there's the other one where it's him as a person. The major the major tension in this particular arc. Which was it? You saw it begin in volume one, but this is where it really starts to flower. This is really uh, the what was hinted at and foreshadowed at in volume one now is exploding, and that particular tension is that of the church and the crown. That they're, they're butting heads. Um, because Kelson is generally tolerant. He, you know, he's half Duridi himself. He just found that out, and you know, and uh, his friends are Durini as well. But the church is not. The church is really intolerant of magic. They have outlawed magic, use of magic, and the church has um, forbid anybody, like Clute, the Durini particularly from holding office, being baptized, having last rites after you die, so that means you can't be buried in consecrated ground, getting married. So the Durini are, kind of, are outlawed, they always have to live in the shadows, they're always being persecuted. And because the church really out to get the Durini, they, and in, the, in particular the, the senior uh, officials and the primate, of Gwynedd, the private of the church, Edmund Loris, issues an uh, interdict on the Duchy of Corwin, Alaric Morgan's um, duchy, and because they want to get at Alaric. They don't like Alaric, they think he's, he's going to subvert the throne and his presence, you know, he's going to have too much power. So instead of going after him personally, they put all of Corwin under interdict. And interdict, in this case, means that nobody in Corwin is allowed to have anything to do with the church, which they're basically separated from the church. This is to try and turn the populace of Corwin against Morgan. And in the, in the meantime, in there, believe it or not, is a love story. There's a love story, and a star-crossed lover, and a witch, and a magic relic, a magic artifact. Believe it or not, it all ties into Kelson learning how to be a king. Moving on, thoughts. So, there is much more detail in this puppy about how the church works in Gwynedd and how it relates to the throne. The church had a lot of power. There is one antagonist who I love to hate, and that's Edmund Loris. 
This guy's slimy. He's conniving. He uses his power uh, in very self-serving ways. He's a bigot. Oh yeah, Edmund Loris just uses the the power of the primacy of Gwynedd to just be an asshole. He enjoys it. He likes it. Now, let's move on to recommendations. There's there's a lot of detail and, and nuance and uh, and well, you know what? Instead of me continuing to talk, why don't you go forth and read it? All right, thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your time, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!